that's funny i didn't mean to do a pun there but like missed she has not missed that's just me being country it's supposed to be missed i think i'm still saying it with teeth guys are welcome for the first time if you've never been here before my name is jordan i know you guys already saw the thumbnail you already saw the title you already know what this video is talking about i'm covering all of my favorite things these are things that i've added to my daily life as far as fashion beauty lifestyle goes so like my brain how i'm smelling how i'm looking what i'm wearing we are covering all of these categories of things that i've just found very useful lately now as you guys may have seen i told you guys in the vlogs that i was going to become an ipad girly so if you see me pulling this out it's because i'm taking my notes you guys so excited about having this ipad make sure to comment down below any apps that you like to use on your ipad because i just got this yesterday i'm still trying to figure out how to use it oddly enough in this journey one thing i found out when it comes to being in your successful productive girl era, you can't just be working the part. You've also got to look the part. You've got to feel the part. And a lot of these things have helped me do that. So make sure you are subscribed for more weekly style, beauty, and just everyday tips that have been helping me elevate my life lately. Okay, speaking of making our lives easier, let's go ahead and jump right in into one of my favorite ways. And that is having key basics to elevate any outfit. Now, I think this is one of my most recurring questions. People ask me, like, can you make a video on, like, go-to basics? Because one thing everybody's looking for for their closet are some good essential basics. Like, we are all tired, tired of going to pick up either these super cheap ones that we get, like, one to two wears out of, or we've got the other end of those super like overhyped items that are overpriced. I'm so excited you guys. We actually have a partner for today's video. I love the cuts pieces so much so I already know that you're gonna love them as well. I have a few of their amazing basic selections here but we're gonna start off with one of my favorites because obviously I can't take her off. Their long sleeve polo tank you guys. The quality of it is amazing. You saw me getting ready in it. You saw the stretch and the pull of it. You saw the thickness of it, even down to the details of how it looks. Like we've got a little cut right here and a little cut right here. When I tell you after I finish this video, I'm gonna be running to go find the white version of this, like the spring summer version colors of this before y'all go sell it out. I am headed there because I'm gonna need those. You can see that it has like a really compression-y feel for this fabric. Uh, this is another one that I got from Cuts that has that same compression-y feel. This one is in their ocean blue color, but you guys already know, I'm gonna link all of these down below, so you don't have to remember this. <laughs> but if you turn it around, this is what I love, especially for spring and summer, this racer back look. I love the clean lines on this, the quality, the color of this tank. Of course, all of these are gonna have multiple colors, so you kinda just pick your preference. It has not been that long since I started investing in pieces like this. I definitely used to just be like, you know, what's the coolest thing that I can go and find and add to my closet? My closet game has elevated tremendously since adding things like this. You just do not want to go and figure out an outfit every single day if you're going to work. Everybody doesn't wanna sit there and like plan an elite outfit every day. But when you have like your good basics, good quality, you can take those, pair them with your favorite pieces, and it's going to make for an amazing outfit. I've already styled all of these, and it was just so easy to put something together because I was starting out with a really good quality basic. So if you're like a work girly, these are really good for like starting your day off. And then like, let's say you got to go run errands later. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You can wear them on the weekend. I just love that they're so versatile. The ribbon quality is just so nice. I found that I really love those type of basics because they just add a little bit of interest. This is another one that I will be going to run to find in white. Because when I tell you it's so hard to find a white t-shirt that feels like this, 
like i wish you guys could like feel the collar area the sleeves like the whole shirt because it's a very weighty shirt the fit of this is amazing if you're not really in your crop top area but you're also not in the i want my shirt down to my butt era this one is a really good one it's just got a really flattering cut on it also the packaging is so nice you guys are gonna see when you order it you're just gonna feel like yes they gave me something make sure to head to the description box and that's where i will have all of these listed i love a deal so you know i'm gonna get you a deal and they gave me a code it's all caps jordan 20 that discount code is going to get you 20 percent off of your purchase use that code asap because my code does not last long thank you so much cuts for sponsoring this portion of the video and let's go ahead and get to the rest of the things that we're going to be using to elevate our spring and summer all of my favorites y'all had to see this coming if y'all watched the vlogs you had to see this coming the way that I freaked out over this trench coat you guys it's perfect I was just recently complaining because I got rid of one that was vintage like I got it years ago didn't wear it one time because it's super important to buy things that you feel confident in that fit you well and I was going for the oversized look I went way too far and this one fits a little oversized but not too much like it doesn't swallow you and it's just such quality. When it comes to a trench coat, it's such a timeless staple. It's not something that you're gonna wanna skimp on. I'm actually taking this on a little trip with me this week. And when I tell you I've styled like almost every single outfit with this trench coat because it's such light wear, it's perfect for spring. Everybody knows that by now. Trench coats are elite for spring and this one is perfect from the color, the length. Like we don't do short trench coats over here. We like the ones that have some length to it because it just gives like, it gets more expensive. I'm actually gonna be doing a full collective haul soon for spring. So if y'all see it again, don't say anything, okay? With it being spring and us getting into summer, we are getting into that time of year where we're traveling baby we getting on flights we're doing little weekend trips we're doing little staycations and i thought about this as a favorite just because i've been using it so much lately i've just been doing like little trips little stays and this bag has just come in clutch i love how big it is i've had it for a long time now but i'm using it now more than ever because i'm just doing more um but this is my black i think this is leather I want to say but uh, it's my Katie Lobson bag and I really love it because it is engraved like you can get it engraved I've got like the JB for my name I love black a lot I think they have like a brown like cognac color one I just love that it is huge I know people like to see the inside of these things it's a nice size bag and it just makes a really good carry-on bag you can sit it on top of like your luggage and whatnot um, it's got a zipper compartment right here that's pretty big and then um, also some little side compartments that I love to use for like whatever perfume, whatever I'm bringing. And then also like this long strap. I get a lot of use out of her and I think you will too. Okay, another bag we're gonna talk about, but this one is different. I've been raving about this one as well. This one is a work bag and it is from Cowpack. We were actually gifted these on our inside then out uh, staycation trip. And I just did not know how in love that I was gonna be with this bag. I have other black like tote bags that i've been using as a laptop bag but none compared to this one okay number one so this is the back if you are using like luggage and you're going on a trip this actually goes on your luggage so you know like the handle it's gonna slide on the handle so like you don't have to do the trick where you put the straps over sometimes the straps don't fit like that's literally why that's there this is the front of it it's just like this plain leather black glossy look with a thick black leather strap i love that it's a laptop bag but it doesn't look like oh that's a laptop bag like it's giving fashion and you know we are always trying to get fashion but another big thing i like about it speaking of big this is big it has this laptop insert in it now my laptop is not even this big so if you have a huge laptop this will work for you um but you can see they have little side compartments attached to it I use one side for like my work side so I put like pins, SD cards, whatever inside this side and then I use the other side for like my my little personal things like my hand lotions, my hand sanitizers, my lip gloss goes on the other side. I just love how many compartments are in there. It just gives me an opportunity for a lot of separation. And while we're in here, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my new laptop case cover because she's cute. If you guys saw my little... um how to be more productive in your successful girl era it's like a little vlog that i did where i was talking about like being diagnosed with adhd and ways that i've been overcoming it to actually like be productive wake up earlier things like that if you're struggling with that by the way go check that video out but i was showing you guys 
this laptop case. It's like a fuzzy texture. I feel like I've seen this everywhere, but I just happened upon it myself and I was like, oh, this is that laptop case that I've seen a few people with. So, so cute. It's white, it's got that boucle look. It reminds me of like my couch. Of course, you wanna be careful with it because it's white. It's also super inexpensive. So if you do, it's not a big deal. Like get another one, but just, just try to avoid stains. If I can keep it clean, which let me tell you, I'm the queen of spilling things on myself. You can keep it clean. Okay, y'all know we cannot do one of these videos without talking about shoes because I'm definitely a shoe girl. Like, call me the Black Carrie Bradshaw. But I think I like sneakers a little bit more than Carrie. Before I show you these, I just wanna say like, don't fight me, hear me out. Yes, I got another pair, but yes, they come in handy just as much as the other pair, if not more, especially for spring and summer. I'm sorry, okay? Yes, yes, I got another pair of white Adidas Sambas. I know the people who watch my vlogs, you've definitely seen me wear these a million times over by now. So you already know, obviously it's a favorite. But for the people who watch videos like this, you guys, I get so much wear out of these. I started and I bought the black Sambas. And let me tell you, I was very late to the game, okay? Like I'm one of those people when something's super trendy, especially something like shoes, I'm like, uh, I'm a hold out, like I'm a C. I think I waited over a year, almost two years before I went into the like Samba's hype. I don't even think they're as hype now, but I don't care because they are classic. They just match so much. I love that they can be dressed up or down, which is significant for me. Like that means I get to wear them more. I will link both down below because they do have like certain different colorways that get a little funky. But yeah, these are amazing. A really, really good minimal spring shoe, summer shoe. I like that I can wear a sneaker without looking like bummy like i like that it still can look really nice i confessed to you guys last year that i fell victim to the ballet flats trend and i'm just gonna tell you now it's gotten worse i will be turning 27 this year and i don't like to wear a heel every time it calls for me to wear something dressy so ballet flats have been elite for me because they are dressy but they are still comfy and they make them so much cuter than they used to make them when I was wearing ballet flats for the first time in life. These are black faux leather studded ones. Ugh, these are right up my alley. Like they are classic, but at the same time edgy. Like imagine with a pair of like baggy denim. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love. And I did not stop there. I know you guys, if you are, if you have been tapping into like what's trending, you have definitely seen the sheer ballet flats. Now I didn't think I was gonna do it because the first ones I saw them drop, I was like, Baby, it's giving hair store. I'm not wearing hair store flats. Like, I think you guys know the flats I'm talking about that kind of give hair store. I feel like these just have a little more. These definitely give like Carrie, and I tell you guys all the time, like Carrie is like my fashion icon, but they are like a nude sheer color. They're like the ballet flat classic baby pink, but like a little edgier, a little more elevated because literally you can see your toes. So your toes better be done if you wear them. Um, I won't be able to link these because these I got in store and y'all know how that goes. Anytime I go in store, it's a good chance. I won't be able to find it, like the actual link for them. Um, but I will link some that I can find very similar. And I just cannot wait to flounce around in baggy jeans with them. Even maybe a little sundress, like in a very classic way. I'm really excited. Okay, continuing over to the beauty, hair, and skin category. Starting with hair. So I had been seeing this like on everybody's page, but I didn't really see anybody talking about it. I would just see people saying like, oh, like this is my hair lineup or like see this like in the background, but I hadn't seen like an actual review on it. So this was something I had to take my chances with and see how it worked out. And this is Taraji P. Henson's scrub. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but she has a hair care line. I had never tried anything from it. This was the first thing I tried. And let me tell you, if the rest of it is as good as this, I definitely want to indulge. I definitely want to try it. So if you guys have tried anything else from that line, let me know. But this is her scalp scrub. It's actually a sugar-based scalp scrub. Ooh, if I can get it open. Oh, it's a pool. That's why. Um, and I think it has like mint or something in it. Like it smells like mint. It's something along those lines. But as you can see, like it has a really interesting like little applicator on it. And what that does is it makes it really easy to get into your roots because obviously you don't want the scrub right here. You want it in your root. But not only like is it made really smart, it left my scalp so clean. Y'all, when I tell you I hadn't even shampooed yet, my scalp was squeaking and it felt so good. Like I usually don't really like wash day, 
but this just made it feel like a spa and then also i love for my scrubs to have that tingly feeling because i just feel like it's doing something it's just it feels more invigorating especially like if you have dry scalp like me baby if you are looking for a good hair scrub please do yourself a favor go ahead and try this one okay i hope y'all don't mind we're actually going to switch to natural lighting because my camera is getting hot from the light but i cannot believe that i have not talked to you guys about this item right here because i have tried so many blowout methods and just failed i bought so many brushes after this one because i couldn't figure this one out and it's not even hard like just look it up on tiktok if you guys want me to do like a little short video or something i can do that but this is such a good blowout brush. I know everybody raves about like the Dyson Air or something like that, but I'm not paying for that. <laughs> I just, I don't have it in me. I don't blow my hair out enough to get like the Dyson Air Wrap. Um, but this right here is so affordable. The girls have been raving on TikTok for ages about this one. I've had it for a long time now. You guys saw me using it earlier in the video, which like I said, my hair is super greasy. So it's not going to get the best blowout results right now because it's she's old okay i should have done this a long time ago with a blowout brush but i will insert a picture on how my hair does look from this brush you guys it's just such a good price you do not have to go all out when it comes to getting a good blowout brush i feel like a lot of my favorites are found on tiktok and it's just because tiktok is so good at like or the creators are so good at showing things like that are just really worth your while and one thing that i was on the fence about which i don't know why i was on the fence because people were literally giving me proof um, but it was the unbrushed. Now, I don't want to show you this too closely because I have gotten this thing so dirty. It's time to do like a cleanse to all my brushes. Like, I'm going to like show you real quick. That's what it looks like. Um, but anyways, yes, the unbrushed. I gave in, you guys. Y'all came with me. I went to Target. I bought one of these. <sighs> it lives up to the hype, y'all. I will say, I have not had another brush where I can detangle my natural hair and it not like take all of not all of my hair out but like a good chunk of my hair so people are on tiktok showing themselves using this brush and they were not having any hair come out so from my experience the only hair that comes out into this brush is the hair that was going to naturally shred from your head anyway so like it's just getting that out of there when i tell y'all i had not went like i was in a slick bun like crusty natural hair bun for three weeks my hair was low-key like knotting up and dreading up and that was the first time I used this brush. When I tell you if I would have used any of my other old brushes or combs, it would have taken me twice the length of time to detangle that hair. And half of my head would have been up in this brush. You guys, if you are a natural girl, even if you're not, if you have hair, okay, please get this brush. Please get it. It's so lightweight. You would think it doesn't do a thing, but it's just so good at not like ripping my ends to shreds. And let me tell you, my hairstylist said my ends look great okay she did have to trim them she said they look pretty good so that's all i got to say switching over from hair and we're going into a little bit of wellness i know people say this all the time but drinking your water is important this is a little embarrassing to admit but i have not always been a big water girl like <laughs> i would say on average before i got this cup i was probably drinking like a glass a day okay I know that this has just been so hype. People have been fighting in grocery stores or whatever about this cup. And I just did not get it, okay? It took me so long. Another thing that I took way too long to get, but I'm not even mad at it, okay? But when I tell you getting a Stanley cup increased, increased my water drinking just phenomenally. I'm about to share something uh, that has helped me build better habits in a second. But one of the habits, uh, one of the things they talk about is if you want to build a habit, you've got to make it attractive. Literally, if you want to drink more water, you've got to make it attractive. So you can say you got a cup at home already that does the same thing as the Stanley Cup, but it, you got to be excited about it. Like, I drink out of this one, I noticed, because it's nice. It's matte black. It's pretty. I've even decked it out. I will link all the accessories down below for it. This is the large Stanley Cup. And I just recently bought a light color one, like for spring and summer. I should have showed y'all that one, but this is the one I'm drinking out of today. Um, but I even have bought like charms for it. It's got the little J on it. This came in a pack of two with a white and gold one as well. I've got the little top for it, like so no bugs or something like that crawl in. I don't know. And then I use the long glass straws instead of the straw that it comes with. I will link down all of the accessories, but I'm telling you, if you've been trying to improve your water drinking game, I'm not the only one who has said this. Something about getting one of these cups, you're gonna drink it. Like, I hate to say it, I, I hate to be that girl, 
I hate to be that girl, okay, but the Stanley Cup, she's worth it, okay? That's all I gotta say. Another item that has been an absolute favorite for mine, I didn't really know what to call it. It's more like a gadget. But if you are into content creation or you just, you know, you just like to record yourself just for the fun of it, I have been seeing these everywhere, like in people's pictures, but I had no idea, like, what it was for. If you look really closely, you can see, like, this little suctiony little pad on the back of my phone. They come in multiple different colors. I had only seen, like, really colorful ones, and I was like, I do not want to put that on my phone when I found out what it was. But then when I found out what it did, I was like, okay, we're going to have to find a way to get this on the back of my phone because this would actually be very very useful um so this is called the octobuddy and it's literally pretty much does what it says in the name it has these little suctiony things so you can affix it to your window because you know window lighting is the best lighting for content and i've found a couple of sponsorships so far with this thing and it's just so convenient like it's really annoying <laughs> as a content creator like lugging around tripods taking a tripod with you even if you're out and about like you could stick this to a window and you don't have to bring your tripod with you and they are just so so cheap if you do want a colorful one they have that option too but i just did not want to see that on my phone so i was like we're just gonna go with the transparent one because it's not too bad to look at but it just comes in such handy to just be able to just walk up to a window and be like obviously don't slam it but like and then it's stuck it does not move this has been the secret to many content creators content lately everybody's been using it putting it in their bathroom putting it on the mirror windows whatever super convenient i can see myself getting these over and over again if one gives out that a second ago that i have been learning to improve my habits i told you guys that i've been sharing like my journey like with adhd and actually getting on top of things being more productive and this book has helped me phenomenally i mentioned it in that video that i was talking about earlier but it is atomic habits this is like the number one book if you are a girl that just can't seem to get it together girl or guy whoever this book right here oh my gosh it gathers you and it just breaks it down in such a way like you never thought about that you needed to learn better habits and actually apply them this book has helped me wake up earlier this book has helped me actually get to the gyms in the morning like as soon as i wake up like you guys this is one of those books that you're going to want to reread and reread i've highlighted through it and I'm going to share more of my journey if you guys are interested in it. Just let me know. But I definitely recommend this book if that's something you've been struggling with as well. All right, you guys know I got to share books with you guys. So I have another one. This is my last one. This one is actually a reread for me and it is The Alchemist. This was one of my first, like, I would say, I would consider it more of a spiritual book more than a self-help book. But at the same time, like, I consider it self-help because it helped me so much then and it, it's helping me so much now. Um, but I read this like seven years ago. I hate to say that, y'all. But seven years ago when I was in college and I loved it. And it's been so long. I was like, I don't really remember it. I don't remember the point, but I remember loving it. I'm going to reread it. You guys, if you are feeling like really uninspired right now, if you feel like you don't really know your life's purpose, if you feel like you're not really doing what you want to do in life, you're like just having a hard time, like having drive, having motivation, you guys, you must read this book. I read it before. It helped me then. I'm reading it again now, and it's just helping me now. It gives you so much hope, and it just it, it makes you way more excited to just live life and go day by day. All you can do is read it, and it's a quick read, you guys. Like, I recommended this book to people who don't like to read, and I finished this, I think, in two days um, when I was in college. It's taking me a little longer now because I got to work. Um, but if you're like not a huge reader, but you want to read something like that, like you want to do a self-help book, but you're afraid of it being boring, I think this is a good one because it's more written in like a narrative type of way. Like it's not giving you fact, fact, bullet, bullet. Like it's telling you someone else's story, but in a way that you're going to resonate with and it's going to be relatable to you and you will be able to apply. I definitely recommend. I just want to see if, 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 um, how old was I? Maybe like. 19 i wanted to see if 19 year old me had good book taste and i gotta say she does it's still solid it's kind of considered like a basic read i feel like nowadays it's so popular but it's for good reason it's a great great book like a good entry to like spiritual books okay we have gotten to the portion of the video where we talk about skincare okay and beauty and if you know me i don't like to put a lot of effort into that i want to look like i put a lot of effort into it 
but I don't ever want to spend a lot of time on that like I am very much like I love the clean girl aesthetic because I like how easy it is I like how lazy it is I actually just did an Instagram post and a TikTok post make sure to go follow me over there and you can check it out I did a video on one of my little clean girl routines uh, for makeup of course <laughs> and you guys the amount of glowy it was and it only took me 10 minutes i have a new sunscreen you guys sunscreen is something like ever since i've added this to my routine i won't take it away you guys already know to use sunscreen i don't have to tell you that and if you don't i don't know what to tell you you clearly don't want to use it but you guys know i rave about the fenty one all the time which is still great but i came across this one in um the form of doing a collab but when that happens when i do a collab and i find a favorite but i was working with a brand and they sent me over this kills better screen uv serum you guys i have been putting this underneath my makeup non-stop it has like collagen in it and you, if you don't know what collagen is it's that thing that like makes your skin bouncy it gives it that young glowy plush look y'all if you're looking for a sunscreen definitely check this one out it says it visibly corrects fine lines uneven skin tone and dull skin literally i'm glowing before i even hit it with the makeup this right here if you want your makeup to look very glowy and fresh and clean this spring and summer you gotta start with your sunscreen and this one is a really good one speaking of sunscreen but heading into makeup i had been seeing this one a lot on the internet and this is the color science and this is this is like an spf but it's tinted I've tried some tinted SPFs and they all give very much makeup. Like, I didn't like that. I'm like, okay, th this is defeating the purpose of the fact that I didn't want to put foundation on. Like, I still feel like I'm wearing foundation. But this one, quite the contrary. Like, it comes out white. Like, it's regular sunscreen. But, as you can see, the top is like a dark bronzy color. I got mine in tan. I do recommend you getting, um, like, a darker color if you're really trying to look bronze. I low-key should have went a, a color up. But you start rubbing it in, it's not going to leave a mess on your fingers and it's actually going to start like fixing to your face and your skin tone. It's super sheer, but it gives you like a little bit of a bronze. So you're not going to get like those other SPFs, makeup, whatever they are. <laughs> it's not going to still give foundation because you're trying to beat that. It's literally like a sunscreen, but it still gives you a tint, like literally color science. So it's like, I don't know what they put in there, but the science of it really just makes it adjust to your skin tone. It's really nice and pretty so light wear and you're being protected at the same time we love that all right getting into body care it took me a while to try this but you know fenty just recently had their sale and i finally tried it y'all know what got me to try this body cream right here i saw somebody post and it was this girl that said she went to tsa and the tsa person like growled at her and was like you can't be walking around smelling like that somebody might eat you and i was like sold i want somebody to eat me like <laughs> So as soon as they had the sale, I was like, I need to get it. Now, I don't know when the next time they're going to have that. It might be a while because they literally just had it. I don't know how to explain it. It's like the best I can give you. It's like a warm, but yet like kind of summery smell. Like you smell sexy. It's a great smell. I think it pairs with the fragrance. You would have to check it out for yourself, but they put a lot in here. It's a perfume body cream. So it's not just body cream. Like it's going to linger like I wore it the other day and I walked in my closet. The next day I walked in my closet and I smelled the body cream because of my robe that I had on when I was wearing this. Again, I feel like nobody ever explains the scent because it's, it's just not easy to explain. But I will put it down below. You can check it out for yourself. See if you're interested in it. I think it's worth a try. I'm a believer, okay? Now I want to try the perfume. Okay. The next thing uh, that is the secret to the glowy skin is the glow recipe niacinamide dew drops now the funny thing is is this is something i had to rediscover for myself that i already had in my own makeup drawer i went on a trip recently you guys saw and we went to gatlinburg and one of the girls that i met there named kalila she is a book instagrammer youtuber tiktoker and she has the most beautiful skin you will ever see in person like she literally glows it might also be her aura but her skin is also beautiful. She broke it down for us. And one of the things that was in there was this. And I had it already, but I didn't use it much. Like, it was pretty, but I was using it more as a highlighter. Y'all, she uses this every single day on her skin. Ever since I have been using this every single day on my skin, I put it on before I put my, um, what is it? My sunscreen on. Before SPF, 
so glowy i love to use it when i have makeup on or even if i do not wear makeup that day and it just makes a world of difference it's going to give you a really nice natural glow people are just going to be like yeah that girl drinks her water definitely 10 out of 10 recommend okay this is another thing that kind of has that same effect and if you guys are chronically on the internet you've seen this before and i actually talked about this the last time i did a favorites video and i'm sorry but i gotta mention it again because y'all be asking like what's your skincare and i'm like this I use every day. When I go out with people, they're like, what is on your skin? One of the things, and it is the Dialba First Spray Serum. Y'all, you can just take this everywhere with you, especially like if you have drier skin. I have oily skin, but either way, you're gonna wanna put a serum, like a spray on your skin. This is a truffle spray, and it just leaves you so dewy and glowy. I use it as a base for my face. I use it like on top of my setting spray to get that dewy, natural glow. You're just gonna look glorious, like skin is in. Okay, we have made it to fragrances. I have made it my duty to come up with a list of fragrances, or not come up with, but like share the ones that I've been using and loving for the time period. So I have a few for you guys here today from um, like every day to special occasion and even to like hair perfume. Okay, so the first one we're gonna go with, this one is a new one by Rosie Jane. So they had sent this over to me when, like right before they had dropped it in Sephora stores. It has like this, um, if you don't like fruity scents, but you want like a summery scent, because I feel like it is a little more on the summery side. It's got like, like strong hints of coconut. If you don't like coconut, stay away. I personally love the smell of coconut. So it's got coconut with kind of like a pineapple smell. I personally do not like fruity smells, but this one just smells more elevated than your typical fruity smells very very nice scent like you just smell like a breath of fresh air but also like you smell like kind of edible at the same time without it being like a super heavy fragrance which we kind of don't really want as much in the summertime because you know you're going to be sweating it's going to be hot whatever you're wearing is going to be thick so we're kind of saving those heavier fragrances for like fall winter time and going for like more light airy fresh type of scents um, but yeah, she's very beachy, really good for like if you're going on a vacation or for like a date night in spring, summertime. This is another one I happened on by doing a collaboration and I was excited to try this one because I had the, um, I think I still have it, but I can't find it. I have the pink version of the Valentino perfume and I used it almost to the end anyway. So if I did lose it, it's okay. I was almost out. Um, but it just had this really sweet like sexy smell like that's my favorite thing like sweet and sexy and they did a perfect spin of this this is the green version it's supposed to be like more summery and it's also got those hints of vanilla sugar and like warm undertones to it even though it is like a brighter fragrance this is another good one to go to if you're not big on fruity but you do want something like brighter for like the spring and summertime i'm starting to think i have a nose for this kind of thing because like the perfumes that i'm keeping in rotation the perfumes that i pick out and like smell people are always telling me like oh you smell good like oh what are you wearing and so i'm starting to think like this might kind of be my thing we might delve deeper into it but i'm really getting into it i'm really loving it there's just nothing like smelling good okay i like to look good but smelling good is the cherry on top you don't want to be one of those people that like looks good and you don't smell like anything i mean nobody won't think of the fact that you don't smell like anything but if they see you and you look good and you smell good it's gonna be like dang dang and she smells good too if you guys are in the dating world i talked about this but this is one thing that's going to like make a lasting impression like don't just look good make sure make sure you smell good i'm telling you we cannot leave our hair out especially if we are applying heat or if it's just been a while since we washed it if we're curly girls and we don't have the fragrance of like our shampoo and conditioner in our hair anymore i've been loving this rare beauty fragrance i smelled it for the first time when i walked into sephora and i got it as part of my valentine's gift i've been using it ever since it's actually a hair mist and a body mist but i mainly use it for hair because I do like things a little more heavier scented on my body. And this is kind of light for the body, I'll say. But the one time I do use it on my body is when I'm going to the gym. So this is typically something I pull out. It's kind of like part of my self-care morning routine. It kind of gets me excited to do my self-care, you know. Uh, there's just something about pulling this out. And it also like you're supposed to shake it up before you spray your hair. And you kind of just do it at a distance. And it has this really nice, soft 
smell. It's also sweet, but not overpowering, not too much. So really good for every day. I feel like Rare Beauty just does a really good job in just all of their beauty products and makeup products for like everyday type of wear. And like being soft and subtle, but still really nice. Like I have not tried anything from Rare Beauty that I don't like yet. I have not tried everything, but so far she has not missed. That's funny. I didn't mean to do a pun there, but like missed. She has not missed. That's just me being country. It's supposed to be missed. I think I'm still saying it with teeth. But yeah, that brings me to a close of all of my spring favorites, my monthly favorites. Let me know if you guys like these. I am calling them monthly favorites because if they are enjoyed, I am always trying new things, especially with working in this industry that I work in. So I literally could do this monthly, but you just have to let me know if you like it if you find it helpful these are just a whole bunch of different little things that i have in my everyday routine that just make my life easier make my life beautiful make my life smell good like all the way from the brain to the physical appearance i feel like all of that is so so important so yeah these are just my go-to's and i hope that you find something on this list that you will also love and will become a go-to don't forget to hit like on this video if you did enjoy it also be sure not to gatekeep if you have like a little spring or we're coming into the summer like in a couple months favorite let us know put us on i don't care if it's the books i don't care if it's the beauty okay i'm always trying to find more love you so so much i hope you found this video helpful and i will see you guys in next week's upload